Hello everyone, I'm Defush3004. Welcome back to Planet Crafter. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me. I always enjoy having you here. Welcome back to the channel. Last time we were here, we got a new rocket pad built. Rocket pad built. It's this guy right here. We got him built. He is trading stuff for us so we can make a few credits. And in here, not in there, in here, we have 111 credits. We have 45 value right now, which is the stuff that is in here. And we also made some good food, high quality food. We haven't made any of that for us. We need more honey. So I will probably see about working on doing that. And there was also a few other things that I wanted to go over at least a couple for sure and so we have these common larvae around and we made a few of the other butterflies we make the pinga there we go there's a good one and the blue one whatever that one was i don't remember it's inside and i wanted to show you something with them that i think is very interesting so i noticed that when we picked up i'll go to those butterflies in a minute when we picked up this one over here and put him back in this new area over here, this purple, pinkish, blue one, that he has a insect multiplier of 600. This is a butterfly Fiorente larva. So that's the new one that we found. And I was looking at something that I thought was actually pretty interesting. It just occurred to me before I started recording how to do a couple of the things and I started recording but I did look at something so if we look at these you have this one right here the butterfly is Yura it does insects multiplier 120 which is not bad not bad if we look at this one here this is that penga and it does 230 insect multiplier I'm thinking about putting another one of these in another place maybe building another butterfly dome or two but we got to go see about things like that First, what I want to do is we do have this one right here, the Penga, and that's good. But I also want to see if there's any way that we can do other things, like maybe uh, find some other butterflies. That would be good. I think that would be the best thing. We're also at 10% into the new stage of the insects going to the breathable atmosphere. So we'll be finding more insects. What we got to do is make sure that we do put out more larva and put those in the butterfly dome so that way the insects can grow. At least that's the way I think it works. If maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I guess we'll find out as we, as we go. But I thought that would be pretty interesting to do. So I'm going to do a little looking around. Is that a good one? Ooh, that's a rare one. Yes, I want the rare ones. One thing that I noticed is when we were way over there, we went where that crash satellite was. Can't go to the map. It's way over there where the red dot is right there, that red beacon. There's a crash satellite over by there. And when we were over there, we found a crash satellite in, the, in that bluish whatever color butterfly that was there which I thought was very interesting what I'm going to do is I'm going to go way over there where those tall rocks are and we're going to go searching over there and I'll tell you more about it once we get over there about the reason why I am going over there and hopefully we'll be able to go to a few areas and find some good things we haven't been over here since we opened up this area so I thought it would be very interesting to go see what is over here. We haven't done this since we came back here and we first found the area. So let's go ahead and do a little looking and see what there is. So the reason why I'm coming back over here is I was talking to my friend and we were talking about this game and different things. And he told me that the butterfly that I found, that, that purple one that we have in our second butterfly pavilion thing, is not an anomaly, is what, I, is what I was told. Basically, that other areas you go to will have different kinds of butterflies for now. And then they'll start having different whatever else is coming in, depending on the area. I found that very interesting. I thought that was actually pretty cool. So my thought is what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time in here. Let's go back up into that area up there. 
and let's go see if well, I gotta get up there first and I gotta remember the way to get up there and that's gonna be the hard part is try to see if there's some good things there because I just don't remember we haven't been back here since we first came back here and we have not made our way back to a lot of those places in, in all honesty so I think it would be good if we did I can't remember where the way is that we went in when we found those golden butterflies and then I remembered that we had to come up these huge giant steps I went up those wooden rickety steps all the way over there and all the way up there and I forgot there was a pedestal up there I don't remember what this is once we lived okay this is the area where we found the golden butterflies, but that doesn't mean that there won't be another something or other back here somewhere. There could be. So all we got to do is spend a little time and just go see if maybe perchance there is. Because if there's something else back here that we can't find anywhere else, I think that would be really awesome if there was. And that would help out a lot. There was a chest here and this is like a talk about the butterflies and how they have to meet their end because they have been running from whatever it is that they were running from so doesn't look like we're finding anything here so far but that doesn't mean that we're not going to because there's every possibility that we can we cannot fly here as you can see there is no way that we're going to because it just is not allowing us to fly back in this area i'm looking for any of the unusual ones i'm not going to take the common ones because those ones actually what does that do okay that doesn't do anything we have to turn them into other ones we have lots of commons so i'm not going to get too terribly worried about that but at the uncommon ones, even though we do have a lot of them, I'd like to take them because, well, you know, they are un uncommon. So maybe what we got to do is just look around some more back here somewhere and go see. Wherever it is that they may be, I don't know. I really, really don't know. I kind of didn't think about coming even back to this area. Plus, we haven't been back here since a lot of the foliage has started coming up so you know there is also that thing that we can go see about so I think it would be good to do a little exploring in areas that we have once been in just to you know make sure that everything is still good because you never know so if you remember when we were at that place where what the never mind Al Alburn the heck how does a alban larva butterfly that's what i was look Ooh, hey what's that okay this is what i was looking for i was gonna say i haven't found anything back here i was looking all over the place and then all of a sudden i find that black one there then the really really rich beautiful blue one so there is that so yes there are ones back here you just got to spend a little time and you do got to look carefully what i was going to say is that i didn't know if we were going to find any back here because there were no chests to open up because we found a rare rare one that other one in the chest that we hadn't been in that uh satellite crash satellite that we hadn't been in but we did find two back here that i have never seen before so that is good that is good that is good they are here you just gotta look like crazy i've been back here for probably 10 or 15 minutes now i found some other ones cool so there are two other ones back here that's good that's awesome i was hoping we'd find something like that but i wasn't you know 100 percent certain that i would they're back there. They may not be in the same place for you as they were for me, but there are ones back there, and so you can go find them too if you want to, and then you can get some more. And, ooh, duplicate received. Butterfly Emil larva. Nice. Or Amel or whatever it is. I need to go back and make some more oxygen. I probably ought to get some more food and water. 
And along the way, I'm going to continue looking to see if there's anything kind of important. And we'll go to another area and go see if we can find another butterfly. Maybe there'll be, okay, lots of aluminum. I will take that and we'll break down this chest. Now let's get back over there. Wherever there is, probably over at the ship. And let's go see if we can go find anything else that we're looking for. We'll have to go to other areas, of course, but, you know, if we do, that's perfectly fine because that's kind of what this is about, is exploring and building and other stuff like that. We have another asteroid coming in. Let's go see what that one is right over here. There he is, right over there, huh? Cool. Right. Goody, goody, goody. Let's go find it. Where's it at? Pause me. I'm inventory full. Okay, let's go, just go ahead and drink some water and eat a food, and then we'll take the osmium. So you really got to get this osmium. I'm not going to worry about the sulfur, because we can get sulfur. That much I do know. Okay. I really do like these things coming down. That's so awesome. So we have some other stuff coming in. I need to go drop stuff. And maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, some of this stuff will still be here. And I will be right back. I didn't find much more Osmium. They caught me with my pants down because they came down at the time when I had everything filled up. So I didn't exactly have a lot of time to have a floating rock to gather up all that stuff. I was hoping that I could, but, you know, it just didn't turn out that way. So that does happen. And I will show you one other thing, too. I got some more of the rare larva. We have one, two, three, four, five rare larva. That's crazy. I think I found three rare larva. So that's good. That means that we are coming up with more so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this black one and I'm going to put it in the other butterfly pavilion. So we're going to need it to get the insects up some more so that we have more insects because that is always good. Because the more of that we have, the better off we're going to be and, you know, all of that stuff. I still have to make the oxygen. I really like these. These are quite beautiful. I think they're really awesome looking. Let's put this one in here. This one does 700. That one that one does 1,200. Well, heck, I'm going to put that one in there. Yes, sir. -y. So now I have two different kinds in here. All right. What I can do, too, is like switch ones out with other ones. I think that would be really cool, you know, so I could have different ones in each one. So the 700 one would be really good. And I want to go looking around to try to find any more that I can. Now that we have been back in that other area where we found the original butterflies, I think what we can do is go to another area. We haven't been in for a very long time. And go see if there's anything down there. So this is going to be an interesting expedition. And hopefully we'll be able to find a lot more different things than what we are looking for. Now that I know they're in the open, they should start showing up in other places too. I just can't believe how many rare ones I found. That was crazy. i never seen that many rare ones at one time. One here, one there, one another time. I think maybe four, five tops, but not at once. That is for sure. All right, I'm just getting ready to head down here to where this, these mushrooms are. Let's go see if there might be anything down here that might be, you know, comparable to what we found, which is pretty darned awesome with what we found, I do got to say. And we're going to have to kind of, you know, go slow searching because I don't know exactly where everything is going to be. I am going to assume they're not going to be in places like this over here because, you know, I just don't, we didn't find any in where the butterfly place was at that grand place, you know, where we found the original ones, the Goldens. 
So I'm going to assume that they're just going to be out in the open somewhere. And I don't really know if we have fully explored down here anyway. So this would be a good opportunity for us just to go see, huh? And of course we can always pick up ones, you know, that we find along the way. So we've already had a couple spawn now and that's good. Maybe we'll find some of the ones that we are looking for, which whatever they are and wherever they are, if they are even here, is going to be the question. So let me look around and see what I can find. I did find a chest. Let's go and open this chest. We're over here fairly close to where we picked up the key for the warden, the first one. And I don't know what's in this chest. I don't even remember seeing it. It's kind of hidden back here. Uranium rod, nice, and some more fertilizer and a couple of rocket engines. Heck yeah, we can get the iridium rods. I'm not worried about those. Those are pretty common. They're actually easy to get because we have so much iridium that it's, you know, pretty nuts. We do have an iridium cave that we've been mining, so we do have that. And that this is the place where the warden key was. It was over here right up on here the first time so we had the warden's altar and we had that and that that chest is just over there so i don't remember seeing it maybe we did i just don't remember but the uranium rods are always worth it i don't know if there's going to be anything in the water that maybe you know other larva that we Ooh, wow another one nothing important other larva that we just don't know about. You never know. It could happen. So let me just continue looking. And of course, you know, I will come back if I do find anything important. I noticed a bright speck and then I realized what it was. It's, we got another one right here. That one's a glowing one. Butterfly Futura. Huh? Nice. So we found, just found a nice radiated one as you could call it radiated because that's kind of what it is nice we just found another one we just found another one cool it's a beautiful one too look at that thing it's so pretty butterfly Fut futara larva 800 percent insect increasage or whatever that is all right, cool, cool. I don't know if we're going to find, you know, a lot more, but if we can even find, you know, there were two in that other area, so I am going to make an assumption, probably wrongly, that there's going to be two d down here as well. And found lots of car common and uncommon, but again, I'm not finding any rare ones, so there is that going on against us i guess not for us but against us this time so this is kind of a strange sight here i gotta show you so there's a hill down here right and if we go up this hill there's this area back here and if we go into it we are underwater wait what how are we underwater if this is up on a hill i don't quite understand that I just had to show that to you because I thought that was very um, perplexing how it, gravity does not seem to work correctly here. That's, you know, I mean, we do have mushrooms growing from the ceiling, so I guess there is that thing going on too, so, you know, so very fascinating, so very fascinating. I haven't noticed any other butterfly larva down here. So, what I'm going to do is try to find my way back out of here and go to another area. We have a big old asteroid happening right now. Um, I think I want to go that way. I do have enough stuff. Okay, looks like we're having things come through. So far, I'm not noticing anything, you know... Super alloy, all right. So that's what's happening over here. Nice, we're getting super alloy, sweet. I always like super alloy. I think it's awesome when it comes raining down on us. 
At least we did find some, so there is a little bit of that. And out here, I'm going to be looking around. This is where we have the waterfall and yeah, some more, huh? We also have a chest back there that has some stuff in it, too. So I am just going to continue looking. I'm going to set up a place right over here. All that super alloy is going to be gone, of course. But what I can do set up right up here we're by the waterfall that way we know where it is and then it shouldn't be too hard to find set that up like right there and we can set up a doorway let's do that cool now we have the oxygen and i don't really need to bring as much water anymore mainly because we can drink the water and if we can drink the water then we can get all kinds of good stuff you know so that is one thing that I am looking forward to, is not having to take water everywhere and or oxygen. Once we get to that point, then we can really begin doing a lot more without having to, you know, go back and forth and back and forth. I'm going to look around out here. I'm going to see if there's anything out here worth getting, and then I will let you know if there is once I find out. And we have been over here not that long ago. I just didn't really stop for too long to... Smell the roses, if you will. So, now I'm going to be doing that. I didn't find anything exceptional out here in this area where the waterfall is. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this hut here, of course. And then I'm going to go back through that area over there where the dark area is. And I'm going to look around in there for a few minutes. And I'm going to go see if there's anything there. It could be that, you know, because it is a completely different biome, that maybe it will have some unique stuff that we just can't find here. And hopefully, hopefully there may be something good here. But we cannot see a dead burn thing back here. It is so dark. Hopefully we'll find some chests maybe that we haven't found before or something and find some good stuff. But I really won't know until we get to that point. Well, I found another rare one. How do you like that? I do have a full inventory right now. So what that means is I'm going to have to probably, if I do find one, go see if I can, you know, drop something. I haven't found any of the other larvae or anything out here in this dark area. I did have a meteor shower and I had super alloy. I only got three pieces or so because, again, I had a full inventory, of course. So I guess we're not going to find any more. But we did find, uh, what, three, I guess? So that's actually really good, I think. And maybe what we can do is at some point in time, come back out, do some more searching. When, when we have, you know, a little bit more going on for, you know, oxygen or whatever, when we don't have to worry about always going back and forth. And hopefully we'll be able to do okay then. I did notice there was a chest over here too. So we'll take that super alloy and we'll take that uranium. Heck yeah. It's always good to take good stuff, you know, we can always use it. And I did drop a bunch of the rare larvas in this chest in here, at least I think I did. That's over at this place right here, where we have the underground base. And I pretty much put everything in here. So I'm going to take these guys with me. That's good. We do have quite a few super alloys. We do have rare larvae. That's, this is common larvae that I picked up. I'm picking up quite a few of those. I know we don't need them, but you know, you've got to always make sure you got to have that. Let me get back home and then we will see about setting up another butterfly pavilion and continue to expanding our base. I have the third butterfly pavilion built and I also put down some foundations just to, you know, look like support or something like that for it. Just to, you know, make it look a little bit more realistic, you know. Because even though everything can float and that's perfectly fine, I just like things to look a little bit better than, you know, how the game does it. Now, I should have, I have that one there and I have that one there. What I want to do is mix and match them a little bit. Just got to find my way through my base. Kind of got turned around. 
And I want to go see if we can maybe move some of the other ones around. So let's do this. I'm going to take out you and let's put in this one. So we have two different kinds in here. Wow, that looks cool. That looks amazing. All right. So we did, did that. We have two different kinds in here. And now let's go to here and let's go and put in two kinds. Oops, that's a rare. There we go. We have two different kinds in here. All right, that should help. That I really like the black ones. I think they're quite awesome looking. That looks so good. So now we can find hopefully a few more. We just got to go to other places and try to find them. But this should really help with the insectiloids and, you know, get all those guys up really good. Let's gather some more resources because we're going to need them anyway. And we think we're doing pretty good. It's nice to be able to drink the water without having to worry about it kind of thing, you know, and do that. So that is pretty awesome. I am happy with that. Soon we can bre have breathable oxygen and that's going to help out quite a bit too. Let me just go see about iridium. I'll get that put away and let's go to make some iridium rods and we'll trade those guys in too. Let's just go ahead and do a few of those and see if we can do that. Maybe get some more traded in and get some more coinage. I got those out. Now what I want to do is go see about making some uh, fabric. Duh, I was trying to say silk, but I knew that wasn't right because we gathered the silk. I want to see about making some fabric and... Hopefully that will help and then we should have enough stuff. Let's go ahead and do four fabric. All right, just got the fabric done. Let's go ahead and take this stuff and now let's go check on our silk. We should probably think about making another silk derator thing too so that we have that because we're only down to about six now and that's not the best. I think I had, well, I know I had a lot more in there, but that's okay. Let's go see what we can do with this, and if we can get this guy done, then we can continue, you know, getting more stuff. Because those things are worth it, and that's worth it, and let's go see how much we now have. We have 101 in there. We can do a few more things, and I think that actually the space food, the rocket engines are actually the best, but everything else is good. I, we do have a few rocket engines i don't know how many we're gonna need of course but we do have a few so let's go see about what we do have we have one two three four five six seven engines there and as far as i know that's all that we have what does it take to make the rocket engines let's go look at that and let's go see so that's going to be iridium rod to uranium and a super alloy that's really not too bad the uranium rod or the one uranium is probably the most expensive part as far as doing that or two uranium i guess it is so let's go ahead and do maybe three we'll do three okay those just got done let's go and take those let's go put those in the place for the the rocket and then we can launch that the next time that we're here and we can also go do some more stuff we did get that made and we did get this done as i said i was going to so now we have that and those things are so expensive but they do work good and that's good so we have 140 in there now and we can just wait until next time we, we might do is do some space food or something like that because we do have some honey and I also want to go look at one more thing real quick. We did get another butterfly that we could make. And let's go take a quick look at that. So underneath here we have the silkworm, a male amel. Okay, that's the one that we have. It's a rare and that's good mutagen and fertilizer. We didn't make a chevron yet, but hopefully sometime we will be able to. And we should probably see about making some more bee larvae and get to get some honey. But for right now, what I'm going to do is probably see if we can work on making a, a meal larva. I did make the stuff to make this one right here, the butterfly amel. So let's put that stuff in here. 
and let's get one of these done hopefully it'll be done here really soon and then we can do some more we did find quite a few rare ones and that was really really good that part i really do like a lot i don't know how much algae we have i'm gonna have to go out and gather some more while that's being done and then we'll get our butterfly out it looks like a butterfly may be done that's a really pretty one too let's go see if it is sweet butterfly and male larva awesome so now we have that let's go maybe even see about making another one we do have rare then we could put another one up here and continue building around there so let me go make some more stuff and we'll make one more let's go see what one we have here oh we made a, another Penga. Okay, well, I'm going to continue trying because I really want to get another email and that would be for the best. So let me go and see if I can get another one of those done. Didn't get what I was looking for, but I did get a chevron. So actually, that's not bad at all. So now we do have another one. That's awesome. Well, we were looking for a chevron anyway, and right now I am going to go ahead and make another bee larva, and that should be good. That should help out a lot, because everything else is going to be like these. So, if I can maybe try to get another one, what I can probably do is, we do have a penga. But I've never actually used this thing, so let's just go ahead and put a penga in there. Aha! Recycle content. Ooh. Oh! Okay, so that's how it does it. Very interesting. I've never used that thing before. Well, now, you, now I know, and now you know too. It spits it out and does it real quick and messes everything up and makes your house all yucky. This is almost done, and then we'll see what we have here. And hopefully we'll be able to make another red one or something, and that would be good. So we did make a bee larva. Now let's go ahead and do another one of these and research that. And try to get another one going. In the meantime, I'm going to make another beehive. A little bit of a problem happened. If you notice, none of these things are moving. Everything is at a standstill. We kind of ran out of power. You know, this thing produces like 1400, 1485. We rent, went through all that power. What I'm about to do is build another one, if you can believe that. So, I just got to figure out where I can put him. And it looks like I can put him right there. Maybe I can stick him. As close to that guy as possible and put in another one right there. Okay, that's going to help. That should give us enough power, I hope, for a little bit. Okay, let's go see what kind of butterfly we got now. I'm hoping we got a good one. Looks like we got another chevron. That's what it looks like. Okay, cool. That's all right. That means we have another chevron, and that's good. Then we can put them in another thing, and let's go ahead and put a chevron in there. There we go. So now we have that. Yay! What we still have to do is get the email and do that. But for right now, I think we're going to be doing okay. So we do have three of these boxes. We did find some other butterflies, and that is really awesome. We now have a good amount of butterflies. We have two different kinds in here. So we have the Futura and the Golden, and then, of course, in our other one over here, we have the black one, I believe, no, the dark blue, Serena, and the Fiorente, which was the first one that we found of the other kind. Then the black one here and another golden. So that's Albin and a, another golden. If we could put like one of these or something in there, that would be good. But those guys are the high capacity ones, like the high capacity whatever. They they are in, are increasing the insectaloidedness for us. So that way more insects will be happening. So that is good. Well, we did it. We finally got some more of the butterflies going. We have a third butterfly pavilion. We went out and found some other ones. And now we can continue doing a whole bunch more other stuff and making some of your uranium rods. And we'll also send up the rocket 
soon once we get that thing failed and try to get some more space credits so we can maybe buy something good if you've enjoyed the episode drop a like on the video thank you for joining me here this is planet crafter i hope you had a good time i had a wonderful time learning about some more new things and making the different butterflies we finally got a chevron how do you like that we were trying to make one of those earlier and we just couldn't do it and there's another rare larva Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me, and we will talk to you next time. You have a great day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.